what's up guys it is great very carry and i am beyond excited for today's video as you can see in the corner the map is the most incredible map that i have ever seen i am so excited to see this island there from what has been described to me pretty much everything on the island has its own little island which it's an island inside an island inside an island i'm super excited before you get started though guys please check out the description box down below i have included all of my social medias if you want to check it out also if you want your five star island to be down here on the channel there's a link for that down there as well all right you guys please don't forget to like and subscribe for more animal crossing content and enjoy the video oh it looks like we have a present i'm excited to see what this is the presents are so sweet star head oh that is so cute i love that just from that flyover and just from the beginning of the island i'm incredibly excited and right off the bat you see the incredible terraforming here and there's also a little star tree i think the star trees are oops i went the wrong way <laughs> oh time for our ladders hoppity hop the hoppy parts of the islands are always my favorite. You guys know that, and this island is just like one big hoppy part. Oh my gosh, and there's a hidden hoppy part up here. This looks incredible. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see the view from over here. This is absolutely amazing and so creative. This must have taken so much time. I have never seen an entrance that is this detailed and intricate. Just everything from the design, the paths, the terraforming. They even have the little liners for their paths. I am just in awe. And I have had a few island tours that do have the little star trees in them. And I did notice there's a lot of comments saying that whether the island was not creative because of the star trees or that people shouldn't use them. And guys, Animal Crossing is all about how you want to play the game. And if you don't like star trees, then just don't have them on your island. You know, no one's going to force you to have them. And if someone else does have star trees on their island, it does not take away from their creativity at all. It's just like how some people time travel and some people don't. Like, people just have differing ways of playing the game. Wow, this walkway is incredible. I love the little world items right here. We have the Statue of Liberty and the Leaning Tower of Pisa. And I see even more little islands up there. Oh, and Nook Shop. Oh, and Nook Shop Island looks so good. Don't you guys love how you hop to get everywhere on this island? Oh, this is like the little arcade slash restaurant club, maybe? But it's on an island, which makes it extra neat. Well, I guess anything on any island tour is on an island, but this is on an island inside an island, which is extra neat. Oh, and it is a little nightclub over here. I love the flooring for this nightclub. That is super cute. And the music is perfect. Avert eyes, avert eyes. Love the area with the trees along the path. That's super cute. How they used a mixture of trees and flowers and shrubs to line the outside of their paths on the other side of the wall. The walkway is so pretty. Oh, I love the trees so much, especially with the star fragments on the ground. Mm -hmm. 
And I love how all of the waterfalls have gold roses. That is a beautiful. Oh, and it's the art area in a rose garden. That is so creative. And a campground on the beach. I love campgrounds on the beach. Mine is on the beach. And this little fire pit is one of my favorite items. I love this campground. And flowers on the beach. Oh my goodness. Check this out. They gave a villager a beach house, which is lovely. It was some fishing rods right out front so they can get their fishing done as soon as they wake up in the morning and walk out of their house. And then they have a little deck patio instead of a yard. And all of their fishing supplies and surfing supplies are also here. Too perfect. I love this. And these paths look just like stairs. That is so creative. Ooh, and the little overgrown part of the beach. Oh, I have not seen a cemetery on the beach yet. And especially since it's overgrown, I probably should not clap at the gravestones. That was a strange response for me. Oh, and back over onto the rest of the island. All of the terraforming. This must have taken ages. Oh, and what a nice little outdoor restaurant. The Cliff Restaurant. I love it. And there's even little atmospheric details like the plants and music playing. So cute. Oh, and what's happening on the beach down here? That looks awesome. Oops, oh my gosh, I did not mean to hop there. <laughs> Look at this little baby island. Oh, beautiful details. Just incredible. Oh, and they moved their mailbox. And once again, the little peaks we're getting on the beach are super cool looking. And this must be the house. Beautiful. I love the wood flooring they put up here. Yay, we get to hop! Boop! 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 Ooh, and a hidden walkway. It's a hidden waterfall walkway. Incredible. <gasps> Guys, look at this! Oh my gosh, I just, I have no words. This must have taken so much thought and effort, and it is beautiful. Oh, I just, I'm being so slow on this tour because everywhere I walk, I want to look at everything. <laughs> There's so much around. T-Rex Island, hold on guys. From my last video, if you watched it, I found out that some of the fossils move. What? I think that's crazy. I had no idea. Anyways, it makes me really happy to know that. <laughs> Wait, this way? This way? Oh, this way! And Bamboo Island! I love it! Oh my gosh, this little green mum hopway is too adorable. Oh, and this is how you get to the secret beach! It's an amazing secret beach entrance. And while we are here at the secret beach, I'm just gonna open up the map really quick because I know you guys wanna see the map up close. This island is incredible! Wow, just look at all the detail here. So much water on this island. This is gonna be a really good island for fishing tournaments. And all oh, Audie's here and Ellie. Oh, and Marshall. Okay. So pretty. Oh my god. It's like there's little canals everywhere. This is gorgeous. 
Would you guys not just love to have dinner here in front of this huge waterfall? That would be amazing. And I really like these little wooden board walkways that they put in front of the house. Oh, I love the hoppy areas. Guys, this is incredible. I halfway wish I had done an ASMR tour that was just a walkthrough without me talking, just because like this is too beautiful and too amazing and I'm very like breathtaking by this and it's making it hard for me to talk about the island because I'm just in awe. This, this deck up here by the water is gorgeous. It looks like an infinity pool outside of the house. That's exactly what it looks like. And then there's sand in front so it's like a beach house also. Just Beautiful, astounding. I feel like Nintendo should have used this island on the box art. Like that is how amazing this island is. <gasps> oh my goodness, and Rock Island. I bet it was a little easier for them to get their little rock garden going just because most of their island is water anyways. So they didn't have to cover as many spots. I love all the sand everywhere. This makes it feel like an island through and through with all the water and all the sand. Oh, it's just so gorgeous. I love how the houses are connected by the little walkways and bridges. Amazing. Lighthouse is perfect. Beautiful. I love all the flowers over here. I want to go this way and walk through the little. Oh, so pretty. Oh, we're supposed to go over here. My bad. And the flowers are put together so nicely. It's like a huge circle of rainbow flowers. I love how they decorated their big gray ocean rocks. They use partitions and everything. Beautiful. Garden's incredible. Look at the grand white piano. It's so amazing. It's so pretty. Just look at how beautiful the paths look, even by themselves with the hedges. Incredible design, perfectly symmetrical. So much effort went into this island. Oh my goodness, look at this house. This is such a beautiful view. Look at the grand entrance into this house. That is amazing. Perfect little island with Lily of the Valleys. Oh, gorgeous. This is adorable. Look at how cozy the main room is with the fireplace. Oh, they even put tissues. All right, where to next? Ooh, back room. Oh my goodness. This is such a cool bathroom. I have not seen a black themed bathroom. 
where everything was black. This is so pretty. I love the sauna heater in here. I think it's a really good touch to the bathroom. Oh my goodness, my sewing studio. That is so creative. I love it when people, I'm a fashion designer in real life. Nuh uh. That's amazing. I love it when people incorporate their real life hobbies and like actual rooms in their house inside their Animal Crossing house. I think that's so cute. Well, no wonder their entire island is designed so well. They are a professional designer. This is just beautiful. I love all the plants. I'm a huge houseplant person, so I love seeing all the plants in the houses. I just, wow, I know we just saw this, but it's just still so beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous, even the entrance is gorgeous. And all of these gold tools, oh my goodness. All right guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please comment lots of nice compliments in the comment section down below for all of the super, super hard work the creative this awesome island has put into it. And guys, there's a playlist link down below for my five-star island tour playlist. Be sure to check that out. I have lots of really, really cool islands on there for you guys to get inspiration from. Also, do not forget to like and subscribe once again. It's a free way. You can help me out and support the channel. Thank you guys so much and have a good one.